Hey, how's it going guys? Wait, let's turn. Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Alex and welcome back to the Puck Luck channel. Today we're talking about Eric Carlson. There's a few videos that I wanted to do for like a while, but I never got around to. Like I want to talk about the collapse of the Tampa Bay Lightning and stuff like that. But I didn't really get to do that. And I think I will make a video on that. Uh, my opinion about their collapse and uh, what I think they should do. And I think some of the things that I think they should do is a little outrageous. And that's why I think uh, you guys would enjoy the video. But anyways, before I get into this, obviously, make sure you uh, like and subscribe. Uh, that'd be awesome. I'm also going to come out with a video uh, later today uh, about something. I don't really know how I'm going to put it, but it's going to be interesting. It's a little outrageous. But anyways, let's get into today's video. So today we're talking about, obviously, Eric Carlson. The guy in 680 games has scored 563 points. Well, scored 560 points. But 563 points, 129 goals. 434 uh, assists he's a good player obviously right and he currently carries or was carrying a 6.5 average uh contract and uh it was a great deal for a guy who put up a lot of points now he is technically a free agent uh as of right now although he could be reassigned before he enters the free agency but it seems as though he will enter the free agency uh i think that we all didn't expect this but apparently uh, his wife uh, is willing or wanting to uh, return to Ottawa. Uh, you know, with the things that have been going on in their, their life, uh, with the, their kid, and, um, you know, just the harassment and things like that, the things that happened a couple months ago. Um, and all that happened when he was, uh, well, he wasn't, he was in, 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 in Ottawa when this happened, obviously, but they moved away and uh, they moved to a different place to change the scene and, and, and get away from that. But, um,. You know, during these times, even though it's been a while, I think sometimes you need to return to your family just because it feel it's better. So that is kind of where we're at. Apparently, she wants to return to her family, which I get. You know, it, it, it's nothing out of the blue like, oh, how selfish. She wants to return to her family and not let Eric Carlson play for a Stanley Cup winning team. We have to remember that these people are are human. They're, they're not just hockey players. They're humans. They have lives outside of hockey. And, and we got to remember that. It's pretty hard to be, you know, a part of a hockey f world because you're constantly on the move, especially if you want to follow your your partner around the world and watch them play hockey around the world, like, you know, around North America and watch them play hockey. There's some people like that. It's a pretty hard job and a task, especially if you have a family, you're constantly moving around and sometimes you'll be home for a while because you're on a home stint and then you'll be away for a while because you're on an away stint. It's a pretty crazy world, although it's a pretty good job, I gotta say. Um, but, but the point is, we got to remember that Eric Carlson has a, a life outside of hockey. And once his career is over, he has to be in a place where he's happy and, and uh, he's ready to continue his life. It's weird I'm saying this, but it's true. It, it ha there is a truth to it. So Eric Carlson supposedly is in a battle between two people. It's going to be Montreal or Ottawa. And why is he not going to Toronto, guys? Why why wouldn't he go to Toronto? I'm using this voice because it's sarcastic. Because Toronto, oh, we're just going to, you know, uh, you know, Mitch Marner's going to take a $1 million contract. And then we're going to sign Carlson for $2 million, And uh, we're going to be perfect. No, obviously not. That's not going to happen. <laughs> don't, don't, don't laugh at me, okay? There are people, genuinely Toronto fans, who think that is what's going to happen. Uh, but the, the majority are actually logical. But... It's fun to see those, right? It's fun to see those Toronto fans saying they'll get every player that goes to the free market. It's a pretty funny uh, joke. Anyway, so it's between Montreal and Ottawa. And currently, he just, yeah, like I said, he just came off a contract worth nine, uh, 6.5. I'm thinking he's going to get like 9, 9.5. And if anything, he's going to get around 10. He's a good player. But the reason why I don't think he's going to get a lot near 10 or maybe even 9.5 is because he's sort of a injury reliability. He's gotten a lot of injuries in his past, and he's gotten you know an injury this season. He got an injury last season. He got an injury, in fact, the season before that. He's been uh, pretty injury prone for his good part of his last three years. Uh, he's still a productive player. He's still very good. Uh, and he, you know, he entered the league in uh, 2012, I believe it was. So he's been here not long, but he's really made an impact on the league. And obviously, he's worth a lot of money. And every player, is, I mean, if you're telling me a guy like Jeff Skinner gets nine mil, obviously you're gonna get a good chunk of money. You know, you're. It just doesn't make any sense. So, what team can afford him? Technically, Montreal can't afford him. As of right now, from what I can understand, the Montreal Canadiens have about $11.7 million in projected cap space. Uh, it's not official, but that I think that's what it's supposed to be, something like that. 
uh, with quite a few contracts expiring, like really small guys contracts expiring, it's not going to free up a lot of space, but it is going to give them the opportunity to kind of reassess who on their team is worth it. And they're going to start to like throw players out and throw and keep some players. Uh, one of the noticeable names that will be still there most likely at the end of uh, the re-signing phase will be Joel Armia. He'll probably be coming back to the Canadians. So I'm thinking he'll probably get a one mil, one and a half mil dollar contract. Um, and then there's just smaller names like Jordy Ben. If he, if they can't get Carlson to come, they'll obviously probably re-sign Jordy Ben. But if not, Jordy Ben's gone. Mike Riley is not a big cost. He's going to be very little. Uh, you know, and then there's really small guys off the roster like, you know, Michael McCarron's not going to return to the Canadians and Daniel Odette's probably going to get a small contract worth 800000 or something. All, the rest of the contracts for the Montreal Canadiens are really, really tiny contracts. And I would talk about the Ottawa Senators and say they have this and that, but we all know that he, they could sign him and, and he, is it as a possibility. But I think logically, if you're Eric Carlson, which team is closer to winning a Stanley Cup right now? And he's getting, he's technically in his prime. He's uh, 29 right now. Uh, he's technically in his prime and he doesn't have that much more time to wait for a team to develop. I know, obviously, Ottawa has the best potential in the future. They're growing and they're not aging. In fact, the only aging guy on their team is uh, Anderson. Besides that, his, their team is very young and very capable of winning a Stanley Cup in three or four years or even making the playoffs in three or four years, but it's not going to happen. And if you're Eric Carlson, you got to think, okay, is my health good? And is my, you know, my legs are good? and I don't want to break my ankle or something and then be out for a long time and waste my seasons and my chances to win a cup where as a team of Montreal's stature who barely missed the playoffs by ridiculous rules in the NHL because they you know Vegas had less points but they made the playoffs and Montreal had more points than Vegas and uh they made didn't make the playoffs so is it is that you know does that make sense to you guys what do you think do you think Carlson will sign with Montreal if he were to sign with a team I think, yeah, I think he will sign with Montreal if there is a team to sign. I mean, Montreal is a pretty young team, nonetheless. They got Kukaniemi in their team. They got Shea Weber, who isn't young, obviously. He's 33. Jeff Petrie's 31. He's a guy they'd probably move for Carlson if they were to sign. And especially Carl Alsner as well. They'd probably buy him out, 30-year-old Carl Alsner. They need a younger guy. I mean, he's not that much younger than their top defensemen like Jeff Petrie and Shea Weber. But he's a very dynamic player. He's a player they need for their team and their roster. So... I could see this all happening. I can really see them joining, and and it, it's slowly becoming tr more true and true. So we'll see in a couple of weeks. Maybe I'll do an update video. Will Eric Carlson join them? And how much do you think will he join for? If he were to join any team, he would just re-sign with the San Jose Sharks, or if he were to join Ottawa or Montreal, who would, or how much, sorry, would he get signed for? Because uh, logically, I mean, if a guy like Jeff Skinner gets 9 mil, and he's a more elite defenseman and more bigger prospect than Jeff Skinner, he should be getting more. Or is he a nice guy and he'll probably take 8 mil or 9 mil only? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, uh, this will be the first video of today. Uh, there will be a few more videos. Uh, to, well, one more today. And then throughout the week, you're going to see me wearing the same shirt and uh, looking pretty much the same. Uh, maybe I'll switch shirts to make it a little more interesting. But uh, I'm going to record quite a few videos and they're going to be pre-uploaded. Uh, so today's the day where I actually don't miss an upload date. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. And, uh, like I said, make sure you subscribe. Ciao. Ciao. That's not a good word to use.